Hey guys, this is Alex from Maidani Photography. As I promised before, I'm going to show you how to use this ND filters now. So we are in Venice, as obviously you see, and uh, the church behind me is called Santa Maria della Salute. So I get a lot of emails sometimes. The people ask me, why do you use the ND filter? Like, what's the reason for it? So technically, sometimes when you're traveling, especially, you are in a situation like this. There is, there is a bright su the sun out there, and there's a lot of boats, like, there is a lot of distortion on the on the on the view. So the best tools to use to get rid of it is the ND filter. So let me show you how to do it. If you go ahead without the filter, now I don't have any filter on my lens. So I'm just gonna take a shot. I'm in the manual. So I just take a shot. And as you see now, there is a lot of element around. There is F, there is a lot of things so there's a lot of distortion which is not very pleasant and I'm gonna add my filter and I'm gonna take another shot so this is the ND12 is gonna stop down my shutter 12 stop so let's see Okay, so here I add the filter in front of the lens now. I already manually focused before, so it's always better to, like, well, you should always. Before you adding your filter, you have to focus, because if not, as soon as you add the filter, you cannot see anything. So, and also, even if you put it in the auto focus, the camera gonna struggle for finding the, finding the focus point. So the best is to, to focus before, add it in the manual, and then you're good to go. So I'm an aperture f16 and I'm gonna try to take one shot. The only thing is, so sometimes you have to go over 30 seconds. So make sure you're gonna change your setting to the bulb mode on the camera. Okay, so here I added on the bulb mode, aperture 16 and the ISO 100. So let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take 50 or 60 second shot to see the result because, well, there is a lot of apps you can use to, to calculate how long your shutter should be, on, like how long you need to take a shot. If no, like when you practice more and more and more, then you're gonna figure it out by yourself. You know, very no need to use any app. So let's see, I'm gonna probably with this situation, I'm gonna go ahead and do 70 second. Okay guys, I already finished taking that shot. It was 75 seconds and it ended up, as you see, it's not bad actually, it's very good. I like it very much. But I'm gonna go ahead and add another 10 seconds. So let's see what's gonna happen because now the sun is behind the clouds and I'm gonna add a little bit more time on it. And let's see, so here we go. Okay guys. So let's see the result. As you see, is I like this one actually very, yeah, I like this one very, very much more. So as you see, this filter, the Hydra filters, they don't have any vignetting and the color cast is not much actually. But it, you know, it's 12 stop and I'm using the 11, uh, 12 millimeter lens and the result is so good. Like, I very, very like the result. Well, I'm gonna thanks again the Haida for uh, letting me to have these filters and uh, thank you for watching this video. See you for the next video.